With the launch of Shibarium on the minds of every Shiba Inu holder, you can expect that people's eyes would be glued to all the official Shiba Inu social media handles. It is one of these eagle-eyed observers that noticed a Shitoshi Twitter update that has now been deleted. They were able to screenshot it before it was deleted, though. So, we'll be talking about that in today's video, and trying to figure out what the tweet means and why it was deleted. Make sure to stick around for this one. Before we get into that, there are a few other updates that we need to go through, and they are really exciting updates. For one, we are just a few days into March, but the buying pressure for SHIB has already climbed by a whopping 95%. What this means is that 95% of SHIB investors, as seen on Coinbase, have SHIB on buy, with only 5% having the token on sell. This goes to show that an overwhelming majority of SHIB holders believe that a price pump is probably just around the corner and are more than willing to wait for that to happen. In trying to figure out what exactly is people feeling this hopeful, analysts found out that SHIB buy sentiments went as high as 98% back in 2022, and this was around the time when rumors of a Shibarium launch were making the rounds. So, it looks like the fact that we are close to the launch of Shibarium is making investors hopeful enough to hold on to their tokens and even buy some more rather than sell. This sounds even more interesting when you consider this. According to Watcher Guru, in addition, the typical hold time for SHIB shot up to 240 days in 2023 from an average of 180 days in 2022. Therefore, investors are holding on to SHIB for a longer time and not dumping the token for short-term profits. Its 24-hour trading volume is also up nearly 16%, reaching $174 million in the day's trade. Hope is really high in the Shiba and you community right now. Now, tell me in the comments section whether you are one of those who have high hopes for Shibarium. That said, while many SHIB holders are really big on holding on to their SHIB tokens, there's another Shiba Inu token that has been performing better, and that is Bone. Granted, there are fewer Bone tokens than SHIB tokens, so it's easier for Bone to pump. But it's still impressive to see Bone push close to $2 per token. And the fact that it is the native token for Shibarium has just given it even bigger wings to fly. With Bone as the native token for Shibarium, there's more of an incentive for people to purchase the token. What's more, you need at least 10,000 Bone tokens to serve as a validator or delegator on Shibarium. That's a lot of tokens to be purchased, and those purchases would definitely help to push the price of Bone. This doesn't mean that SHIB would not benefit in any way, though. Remember that every Shibarium transaction will burn SHIB. And really, reducing the amount of SHIB tokens in circulation is the best way to force a price pump. I believe that many SHIB holders know this, which is why many have chosen to hold on to their tokens as I mentioned earlier. But these people might also have decided to hold on to their tokens because many people have already started seeing profits. According to Into the Block, a crypto data compiler, more than 400,000 SHIB holders are in profit right now, which has almost tripled the number of holders that were making a profit at the start of 2023. This represents about 35% of the total number of SHIB holders which might not seem like much to some, but is definitely a long way from where we started at the beginning of the year. What's more, this goes to show people that Shiba Inu is still in the business of helping people make some money. If you have been here long enough, you know that this crazy increase in SHIB holders that are making a profit is a result of the rally that happened earlier in the year. In the first two months of 2023, SHIB rallied by close to 50%, and many of those who were in benefited from the rally. So, it is pretty obvious that many SHIB holders expect a repeat of this in a bigger way when Shibarium finally launches, hence the decision to hold. If you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. Now, to the main point of today's video. First off, I want to point out how interesting it is that all the updates coming out of the Shiba Inu ecosystem right now seem to revolve around Shibarium. That launch is definitely going to be explosive. Anyway, straight to the point, we are not new to Shitoshi posting cryptic tweets. What might be new, though, is him deleting those cryptic tweets almost immediately after he posted it. Thankfully, a Shibarmi was able to screenshot the tweet before it was deleted. The tweet simply read confirming to the maker, and it was supposedly posted in the morning on the first day of March. So, the tweet doesn't say anything about Shibarium but I think many people have just assumed that it has to have something to do with the launch of Shibarium. That still doesn't explain what Shitoshi was trying to say in the tweet, though. No. 
Here's you today's attempt at an explanation. Jibarium is being built by Shaitoshi Kusama and Unification Fund. At the end of December, Kusama announced that he had a meeting with developers from the fund to discuss the upcoming release of Shibarium, beta version, and finalize all issues on it. It is likely that, in the aforementioned biostatus, Kusama hinted that he had gone in touch with Unification Fund again, perhaps to finalize things once again. That sounds highly plausible. But if it is true that the tweet was about Shaitoshi trying to inform us that he has contacted Unification Fund, it begs a different question. Why did he delete the tweet? Does this mean that Jibarium is not ready after all? But then why did he post the tweet in the first place? It's a whole thing, and I'd like to hear what you think about it in the comments section below. While we might not be sure about what the tweet means, there's something else that we can be sure of where Shaitoshi is concerned. We can now be sure of which Twitter account is actually is because he has finally gotten the blue check mark. With this blue tick, we might be able to largely avoid scammers that try to be Shaitoshi, at least on Twitter. So, it is understandable that many people were excited about this new development. That said, I can't help but mention that we still need to be careful. Remember that anybody can get the blue tick now if they are willing to pay the $8. So, it's still possible for people to pretend to be Shaitoshi. What we need to do is pay attention to the number of followers that the account has in addition to the blue tick. Remember that it is your duty to keep yourself safe. Take it seriously. Finally, we've been talking about ship could pump and make profit for hundreds of thousands of ship holders. But some analysts have done the work to show us just how much ship holders could make if ship hits one cent. Apparently, if you have a $3,000 Shiba in new investment right now, you would hit about $2.5 million if ship hits one cent. $3,000 will buy you about 250 million tokens in today's price. And if you hold the tokens long enough for ship to hit one cent, you could be smiling to the bank with $2.5 million. The question now, though, is when will Shiba New hit one cent? Well, I believe that we all know that there is no way to know this for sure. Many of us hope, though, that this will happen not too long after Shibarium is launched. However, this is not financial. Make sure to do your own research before making any decision. One more thing. It is important that we do not have unrealistic expectations. There are trillions of SHIB in existence, and it would take a bit of time for Shibarium to burn enough of that to cause a price spike. So, it is important that we contain our expectations and make them more realistic. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.